I got this, uh, the Maytech airspeed sensor, and I was trying to see if I could figure out a way to get it to uh, actually do the flaps at varied airspeed. So if you look in the OSD, uh, we've got the uh, GPS speed in the top left there, and then the airspeed below it, which is sitting around one two probe right here. You've got the two tubes going out and I've got the sensor down inside. Uh, this is reading off a of Maytech F722 wing FC. So um, I tried messing around a little bit and couldn't figure it out. So I emailed Pavel and he sent me some directions and I set it up. And it actually seems to be working pretty well. I probably need to adjust the timing on the servos so that they come down, the flaps adjust a little bit slower to changes. And I'll probably try and add a logic condition and also to actually make it that the, the speed has to be sustained for a short, uh, certain period of time. So that way, uh, I'll try and show, if you get right on the verge of where they are, it'll bounce a little bit. But what I'm gonna do is use my air compressor to uh, simulate airspeed, and we'll see. So right now, you should be able to see the flaps are full down. And then what I did is I set it to, I believe it's around 25, it's, it's in centimeters per second, so I had to do a conversion. And I tried to do around 25 miles per hour, I believe, under 25, it goes full down. Under 35, I believe it goes to mid, and then above 35, it should go to straight and level. So let's try and uh, simulate some airspeed here. Okay, so. Trying to hit right about 25 there, above 25. It's now going up to mid. And if I go above 35, then it goes up. And then if I come down, there it's below 35, so it's at mid, below 25. But you notice how they're jumping around? So that's what I was talking about. I want to try and set a function so that at below a certain speed, it won't do it at all. But when I go above 35, I might, I would definitely change these speeds also, I believe. Um, I'll have to look into what I want to make them more. But if I go, so if I launch it, if they're full down, and as soon as it starts to get up to speed, they'll go up to full up. So I'll uh, now go ahead and show in iNav how I set this up in the mixers to get it to work. If we go over in here in iNav and then we'll look at the mixer tab. And you can scroll down and you've got your servo mixer. Uh, I'm not gonna go into these just yet. First, I'm gonna show you the logic conditions. So I ended up using all 16 available. Um, I'm not sure if there's a better way I could do this, but as I went through and started doing them, and messing around with what uh, outcomes I was getting, I kind of found that I needed all these, I believe. As I started to go through the next part of the video, I realized that it gets really confusing quick, so I tried to come up with this easier way to explain what I was trying to do with the LCs and uh, the desired outcomes here on the right. So the first thing is I wanted to make sure that I can manually override um, while I'm testing this, so I set it up on my modes, which is normally my air mode, horizon mode, or manual mode, and what I do is I just got rid of horizon. So if I'm in the channel 15 of my modes, air mode less than 1300, which is the switch all the way back, normal flying, the none of these other LCs will take effect. I'm going to just have that as the flaps are driven by the LS or the left slider, excuse me, by the left slider on the radio. If I'm above 1300, then this other LC will take effect and that'll drive the other LCs for the flaps. Additionally, I only want the flaps to do be automatically driven under 35% throttle, so I don't want to be flying around in full throttle with um, somehow we get below the speed and have the flaps going. So, um, what I had to do then is make an AND LC. So this bottom one on the left column adds the higher than 1300 for channel 15 and less than 1350 or 35% for the throttle channel. So those are the pre-setup ones. The next I needed to do was. LCs uh, for the actual speed. So I wanted four different speed areas or bands, I guess greater than 1550, which is 35 miles per hour. Then I wanted between 28 and 35 miles per hour, as you see on the right hand column, which it comes out to about 1550 centimeters per second to 12, 1250 centimeters per second. So again, I had to set up a band, so lower than 1550 and higher than 1250. Again, for 1250 and 901 and then less than 900 centimeters per second. So those four LCs had to be set up. Then what I had to do is for these ones that are lower than and higher than, I had to make another LC filter for AND. 
So I wanted the lower than LC and the greater than LC, and then I wanted the lower than 1250 LC and the 901 LC. Once I have those all set up, so now I've got a greater than, a between, a between, and a lower than. I then needed to make up four more LCs, which are the final four, and those are for channel 15 greater than 1300. So when I am have it in my mid or up position for the mode, and then greater than 35 miles per hour, 1551 centimeters per second, is going to be logic condition 12. The other one, I want actually the throttle, for the ones that are going to drive the flap down, I want to make sure the throttle is less than. So I've got the mode and the throttle, which is this LC3 at the bottom left corner, as well as this band of 1251 to 1550. The same for the next three, or next two, I guess. I wanted the both 15, channel 15 and throttle, as well as then this LC for the band. And the final one is a little bit easier, just the 15 and throttle, as well as the less than LC. So then here, if you look, I have this just showing the actual LC numbers I put over. Sorry, it might be a little hard to read, but um, I just this is the actual LCs that are going to show in the next uh, video section. What I did is 12 is the over 35 miles per hour is going to be a weight of 100. And what you got to do is select the input one. It's at the very bottom of the list. You don't want all these other inputs, you just do this input of 1. And 100 is going to give us uh, the top output for the servo. Then 28 to 35 is going to be, I just guessed at these numbers for right now, it's 30. 20 to 28 is negative 30, and then less than 20 miles per hour is going to be negative 90, which puts our flaps down. Um, the speeds, I've got these set, but it does not seem to actually use those. So I don't know if that's something we'll have to try and um, see if maybe an INAV 2.3, they can work that out. But for right now, this is working. Um, unlike the video I did earlier showing, I'm not going to do another one to show because it's really a pain in the butt to get the, uh, the speeds in between those. But I have done it. Um, with using just a straw to actually concentrate the speed a little better and just do it with my uh, blow in through the straw and watch my OSD to see what speeds I'm at and they are moving at those rates so I'm going to put this video out now um, subscribe like comment if you have any thoughts uh, the way I did if you understand <laughs> the way I did this uh, the logic conditions or if you've got any ideas on how to make it possibly work differently or better and um, or if you have any questions about it, I'll try and see what I can figure out. And then uh, when I do do the flight, I'll try and do a quick little um, overview of what I did, and then we'll test out the in-flight. What I'll do is I'll put a camera on the tail, or actually I'll just use my uh, my tail camera that's in this plane, and uh, that way you'll be able to see the flaps moving and have the airspeed there. So that'll actually be a perfect way to show. We'll see how this works out uh, using this little Matek analog air sensor and some logic conditions in the mixer in INF. Thank you very much.